Ted on your side continues to press for a solution to the traffic nightmare for the Janet Jackson concert on Mother's Day. Fans were stuck in this backup for hours, forcing some of them to miss part of the concert. Our Andy Fox takes those complaints to the sheriff's office to find out what's being done to keep this from happening again. Andy. Yeah, we are reporting live from where the problem really began. Cars coming down Princess Anne Road, trying to take a right onto Concert Drive. That's where the backup began. And it went on and on and on. And drivers should have been diverted, they say, to Damneck down the road sooner. This Google map at 857 told Norfolk resident Deborah Kraus it would take her 19 minutes to travel 700 feet. If I could have maneuvered out of traffic that I probably would have turned around, but I was pretty much locked into where I was. As she sat, she wondered where the traffic control was. They failed in not being present. I did not see any evidence that there was anybody out there until the very end when I saw some flashing lights come up Princess Anne. Off-duty Virginia Beach Sheriff's deputies run traffic control. We asked the sheriff's office what went wrong. The response included there are limited ingress and egress points, and the large number of vehicles that arrived after 7 p.m. made it difficult to get vehicles into the parking lots quickly. But that was the problem. Thousands, like Kraus, were arriving after 7 because the traffic wasn't moving. The sheriff's office also noted, despite the barrage of traffic, 7,000 people were were directed into the parking lots between 8 and 9 15 p.m. when traffic was officially cleared. But ludicrous was way done and Janet Jackson was nearly done. To the concert promoter, Kraus says this. Please be more organized. Please uh, train your staff better to deal with the huge numbers of people that are coming to your shows. Um, we want to be there. We're excited to be there and we deserve to be there. Live Nation, we have a comment from them coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. But as you look at this, one of the possible solutions was to have opened up the parking lots earlier. So it would have given more of a span of time for concert goers to show up. Be interesting to see if that's the new strategy for these larger concerts going forward. I'll have more at 6. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.